Mobsman. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. Let's see how long you're in it. does London have to offer? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. This is awful! Vantage point. Help! There's been an accident! Not on my watch! Mr. Green's shop located. It was marked on Father's map. Two assassins. Equal in height. One female, one male. Two decades old, and those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starrick sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries, his reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those car players at the Oakwood Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. You were never good at chess, either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? This is the highest point in Whitechapel. Look at what Starrick has done to the city. Whitechapel is riddled with crime. Child labor, despite regulations. A gang known as the Blighters 
overruns the streets, and Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. We will free London from Starrick. You have my word. I have my books. Miss Fry, your passion is inspiring. Come. Let us return to my shop and I can bring you up to date on the rest. Keep quiet. Kalok's looking for me. Who's Kalok? One of Starrick's gang leaders. Why does he want you? He's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The Peace of Eden. So tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Starrick gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain opposed, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the rooks. this city no one looks where they're going yes i've noticed that bloody drood i'll never finish it at this rate only providence knows where those words are headed now well i must get to work replacing them should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot Ta-ta. what an odd man that mr fry was charles dickens knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. <clears throat> Kalok's gang is nearby. They must not follow me back to my shop. We'll take care of it. Yeah. You might be able to use this. Oh, God, I hope so. My carriage is nearby. Make use of it to throw them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. Let's go. We need to lead them away from Green. Here comes trouble. Their carriages are easily damaged. Kalok. That's the fella. to return to Mr. Green. Aye, aye, Captain. You're relentless. That relentlessness will see me become master when we finish this. George would do nothing of the sort. Whatever's left of the creed would perish under your control. Harsh words, dear sister. I do hope Mr. Green made it back safely. Don't tell me you fancy the bloke already. And what do you suggest we do if our number one... Starry can't be that hard to find. I say we turn the carriage round and go find him. This is why you are in charge. Doing 
Did you give them the slip? We gave them more than that. Who are all these people? Over the years, I have established a number of connections across the city. Splendid. We'll need focused aid. Focused aid? We take over Starek's gangs. We cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Starek has influence in every branch of society. We need to match him. I see what you're saying, Evie. We need the Rooks. You are not starting a gang called the Rooks. I believe I may have an idea of my own. We will need the police to turn a blind eye to activities. My ally in the force, Sergeant Abilene. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Next up, urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Starek never acts alone. There are gang leaders in every borough. You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. Rexford Gaylock, known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Should we make him vanish for real? I suppose. One moment. Um, a Templar target you might want to look into. Uh, be cautious. It's rough out there. No, don't worry about me, Greenie. I can handle a few thugs. What's the plan then, oh mighty planner? You're gonna be so sorry! Even the outfits you wear. Perhaps you should lead the way. If you insist.
Stop quickly! It's a murder! I beg of you, let me live! Excellent choice. Hope to see you again. I will cross this street. Don't think I won't.
Perhaps we can harness the gangs after all. Perhaps we can harness the gangs after all. Attracting the wrong kind of attention. I would be careful. Yes, you should be, Mr. Kalok. As you like.
anything. Oh. Just please let me go.
going on over there? I knew it. You won't be stirring up no more trouble. Serves you right.
Easy. I don't see Mr. Abelon. Well, we tried. Psst. I may know a thing or two about that splendid fellow you're talking about. What's this? God's sake! Are you trying to blow the gaff? What? Sergeant Abelon, at your service. I presume you're the Fry Twins Green mentioned. I was expecting you to be a policeman. I was expecting you to be discreet. Henry Green said that you could help us go unnoticed. This is how it will work. I will give you the names of criminal gang members. You will bring them back to me. Quietly. Oh, we'll be as quiet as an old lady. A very hairy, strange old lady that looks a lot like a policeman. my blade. Get what your hands off me! Stop squeezing people of every last penny and we'll talk. Kaylock, we hear of this terrible mistake you've made. You won't have the chance to scream save me, let alone pay Kaylock a visit. Act naturally. Looks like there's been a that looks like a mess. I Maybe stay too. clear of. Let's do this the easy way. There's something going on. What are those brigands up to now? Quiet and I won't hurt you. Yeah! Let's go for a stroll.
Come on. Easy go. We'll be glad to see him behind bars.
What is this place? It's nice to meet you both at last. This is Babylon Alley. Here we make it our business to know the streets and provide children with the opportunity to control their own destinies. Clara, Mr. Green said we might be able to help one another. In exchange for our services, we ask a small favor. Well, why not? You seem to have taken most of my money. Why not take a small favor, too? There are several factories about the city that are powered almost entirely by child labor. Those children work long hours with little pay, and most are not permitted even to leave the factory grounds. They suffer terribly. I need you to save them. A small favor. In return, we offer you intelligence. Something you clearly need. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm late for an appointment. What are these terms? We accept. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Down to... business then. Quiet. I'm here to help. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Oh.
quiet now. You'll be all right. Thank you, sir. Respect. The job for you. Cool, shiver. I could use your help. Um, your Serves you right. You won't be stirring up no more trouble. I'll find out where you're buried. Still keep it well, Miss. Oh. Oh. Ah, there you are. All that stands between you and Whitechapel is the villain controlling the borough. Kaylock has demanded you settle the claim for territory in a gang fight. His loss? Here. I'm sure you can put this to better use than I can. Oh, what's this, Greeny? 
Assassin Christmas. <laughs> Gather your allies. Mr. Rexford Kaylock has agreed to your terms and waits for you at the Whitechapel train station. He's bet his train on the fight. Where are you, Kaylock? Perhaps this will draw you out. Rux! To arms! appears to be broken. Oh well, at least we have a train now. Whitechapel is no longer in the hands of the Blighters. You now have the chance to join our ranks. We welcome all who would stand up to Steric and his cutthroats. I'd rather throw myself to the tracks and run Bertha another mile for that dirty bow by. Kaylock? <laughs> He's left the station. Mel, hello, fancy pants. And who might you I'm Evie be? Fry, and this is my brother, Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I won't bail your heat. You pay better than scraps? Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. Then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha, 
Lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hideout on the rails? What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now, I would like to follow up a lead on... Jacob? Is this serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. I believe I know someone who can help with that. I knew you would, Greeny. You know, a mite of money goes a mickle bit in this city. Think of the power of good you can do with a purse you bring. You talk of a store in London, well, now's your chance. That being Mark shows who to speak to. and maybe you can save us all from having to lay down our knife and fork afore we're ready. Now, enough shop talk. Believe Mr. Green said there was someone he wanted you to meet. 